steer there being dipped into, uh, I don't know if he's in quicksand or some type of sinking lamb, whatever it is, but definitely being dipped. What is going on everybody? Rod J back again. Time to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Today I'm going to take a look at one from Hot Butcher for the World. Shout out to Jeremiah for getting this one set my way. Appreciate taking a look at the beers you guys are putting out. And this is going to be a look at the Beef Dipped. So this is a double India Pale Ale they had sent down. Comes in with an ABV of 7.5%. It is Simcoe hopped, so a single hop on this one here. On the back side, it says sweet grapefruit, dank greens, ripe berry. Here is a look at the back as well, where they actually have the hop cone and the different things to describe the beer. So looking forward to enjoying this one. Let's go ahead and get it into a glass and see how they did here. Again, if you just missed the beef dipped, you have the... Uh, steer there being dipped into uh i don't know if he's in quicksand or some type of sinking lamb whatever it is but definitely being dipped <laughs> all right this is going to be another one that's got a little bit of a haziness here as well as you can see the orange yellow kind of color to the beer the head itself actually has that eggshell white type color to it can't see through to the other side with all the haziness get a nice feel of the aromas you do get some of the grapefruit on the nose that tropical citrus type bowl a little bit you have like orange you have some tangerine everything you commonly associate with a India Pale Ale, in this case Double India Pale Ale, you have a little bit of that dankness in there, kind of that resiny type quality as well. So, when I know it smells really good for the style, everything expected to be picked up as far as the taste. It's got a nice feel to the beer, nice medium body. You get hit with that grapefruit, and I will say, I was a little Literally when I saw it says sweet grapefruit on the can, cause usually grapefruit for me is a little bit bitter. It does have a nice sweetness to the grapefruit. You're getting hit with a nice citrus feel in the mouth. The duration of the flavors lasting around for a little bit of time. It also has a juiciness to the beer. Not as drying on the back end. You get that hot bitterness up front. You get a nice prickling on the tongue when you hold it in your mouth for a little bit. Of that carbonation. Leaves a nice amount of the beer in the mouth for the uh, mouth feel of it. You can really feel it nicely uh, back of the lips. Um, in the throat, I'm getting that feel of the hops as well. You definitely get that kind of scratchiness as it goes down, but you have that freshness from the hops. This one was just done recently, I think within the last month, month and a half. As I look at the can here, yeah, actually, this one was done 11:30 of 20. So this is 1220, so we're under a month old with this beer. So very nice. Pretty much an easier drinking IPA. Get a little bit of an astringency and play with the beer as well. But overall, does a nice job. Got a little bit of lacing on the glass there taking place. Definitely a one to uh, check out if you are an IPA type fan or you like double IPAs. This one has a nice balance to it as well. Um, very well put together. So a nice one here again from Hot Butcher for the World and their Beef Dipped. I would definitely say uh, check it out if you get a chance. But on Untapped, I will post my personal rating on this one. So if anybody's on Untapped and you want to join me, feel free to connect there as well. And uh, if you have any Hot Butcher in your area, I would definitely say uh, try to grab some if you can. If you've had this one, let me know what you thought of it yourself by leaving a comment in the comments section. Or if you want to let me know about any of the other Hot Butcher beers, or any beers for that matter, feel free to leave a comment as well. Always like to see what you guys are drinking and hear about those. And then uh, any, uh, anything you want to suggest for me to try to pick up, feel free to. That being said, I look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on.
Cheers, everybody.